A drone attack was launched on Russia's Voronezh region on the night leading to July 7, local telegram channels reported. Ukraine's kamikaze drones hit an ammunition depot. As a result, an explosion and fire occurred. The warehouse, located on an area of 9,000 square meters, stored Russian Army's surface-to-surface and surface-to-air missiles, shells for tanks and artillery, and cartridges for small arms. Following the incident, residents were evacuated from three nearby settlements. The number of casualties is not reported. According to Iranian Ministry of Internal Affairs, Masoud Pazeshkian, who is known for his relatively moderate position, has won the presidential elections in Iran. By obtaining the majority of votes cast on Friday, Pazeshkian became the next president of Iran, the ministry said in a statement. Out of 30.5 million votes counted in Friday's runoff, Pazeshkian won more than 16.3 million, edging out his ultra-conservative rival Saeed Jalalai who won more than 13.5 million, according to Press TV. Voter turnout was 49.8%, Press TV reported, citing the election headquarters under the auspices of the Interior Ministry. Pazeshkian was elected in a second round of voting after securing the highest number of ballots in the first round, ahead of Jalalai. Pazeshkian, a self-proclaimed reformer who is a former health minister and a heart surgeon by profession, defeated said Jalalai, a hardliner who promotes close relations with Russia and China, in the second round of the elections. Iranian officials claimed 50% of voters turned out. Numerous eyewitnesses and citizen journalists in Iran reported a small number of people were involved. In the second round of voting to determine the successor of President Ibrahim Raisi, who died in a helicopter crash, there were reports of internet outages in some cities, including Tehran, Awaz, and Rasht. In some images on social networks, Pazeshkian supporters danced in the streets in several cities and drivers celebrated his victory by honking. In Ermia, Pazeshkian's hometown, local residents distributed sweets on the streets. Although the election is expected to have little impact on the politics of the Islamic Republic, the next president is expected to be closely involved in choosing a successor to 85-year-old Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. During the election campaign of Masoud Pazeshkia, who is an Azerbaijani Turk by ethnicity, a number of activists called for the protection of the cultural and linguistic rights of Azerbaijanis. People who gathered at the stadium where Pazeshkian's campaign rally was held chanted slogans such as, Azerbaijan is one word, Pazeshkian is welcome, Madrasa in Turkish should be available to everyone. In 2022, Pazeshkian demanded clarification from authorities about the death of Masa Amini, a woman who died in custody after she was arrested for allegedly violating a law restricting women's dress. Her death sparked months of unrest across the country. We will respect the hijab law, but there should never be any intrusive or inhumane behavior toward women," Pazeshkian said after casting his vote in the first round. At a Tehran University meeting last month, responding to a question about students imprisoned on charges linked to 2022-23 unrest, Pazeshkian said, political prisoners are not within my scope, and if I want to do something, I have no authority.